Good evening and once again welcome to my YouTube channel Pierce on the Excel International Maths by Mr. Kamoto. And in this video I want us to uh, proceed with our quadratic equations and now we are at a level whereby we want to look at problems leading to quadratic equations. And these are situations which lead to you forming quadratic equations and solving them eventually. And we have known that um, there are some steps that you should know where relevant. If you have a situation and you think that a quadratic equation is going to be formed there, please draw a diagram where relevant. Draw a diagram. And within the diagram, make x stand for what you are trying to find. For example, it's, it could be prudent for you to draw a diagram and point number two let x stand for stand for what you are finding let x stand for what you are finding and then from there you form a quadratic equation you form a quadratic equation in x and simplify it and simplify that equation and step number four solve the equation solve the equation using your favorable method using your favorable method using your favorable method um, and step number five check if the answers if they check if the answers make sense check if the answers make sense those are the five steps and I want us to uh, go further and talk about example example 12 in this video and follow all these five steps and find out what it is and we are being told that the width the width of a rectangular the width of a rectangular photograph photograph is four centimeters uh, more than the height and we are further told that the area of the photograph the area of the photograph is 77 centimeters squared find the height of the photograph the question is find the dimensions of the photograph that's the question the question is talking about the height but i've talked about dimension so that we are going to look for both heights and even the width point number one draw a diagram we have a, something rectangular here that is true and we are told that the width of a rectangle is four, is four centimeters more than the height so if this is the height let the height be x and of course the width is four centimeters more than that means more than the more than the width that means x added four or rather x plus four because we are talking about four more than not four times if we are talking about four times the height then we would have talked about four x but now four more than so it is whatever the height is plus four that is it and the area is 77 and all of us know how we get the area of a rectangle is of course length times width therefore we form an equation that looks like x plus four multiplied by x is giving us 77 and opening this bracket we have x squared plus 4x is equal to 77 and of course we know that we we solve quadratic equation when it is equals to zero so we bring 77 across x squared 
plus 4x minus 77 is equals to 0. And now that we have learned the quadratic formula, I would encourage everybody to, even when we have very clear factors here, like uh, 11 and 7, 11 and 7, of course, positive 11 minus 7, let us try to use the, the quadratic formula and say, x is equals to minus 4 plus minus 16 uh, minus 4, because this is uh, 4 squared, um, uh, 4 times 1, which is a, times minus 77, which is over there, everything over 2 times 1. Before then, I would have highlighted that our a here in this case is 1, our b is equals to 4, and our c is equals to minus 77. And of course, we are all going to remember that x is equals to minus b plus minus b squared minus 4 is a c, everything over 2a. That is how we use the quadratic formula. And from this, we are going to have x is equals to minus 4 plus and minus 16. Let's talk about 4 times 1 times 77. 4 times 1 times 77. Of course, negative, we get 308. So 16 minus negative, uh, because 4 times minus 77 is negative 308. So 16 over 2. When we talk about 16 minus 8 is 16 plus 308, so we have our x to be x is going to be minus 4 plus 16 plus 308, uh, 3 plus we have all of and this, it goes without saying, minus 4 plus 18 over 2. Please remember I said the division is the very last step. So this is 14 over 2 giving us a 7. Or minus 4 minus 18 over 2, which is minus 22 over 2, which is negative 11. Because we are talking about the dimensions of a rectangle, this one is not applicable, so we said it's not positive negative eleven. So of 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 the rectangle, if we may if we may go back to the rectangle uh, here, this is x which is seven centimeters, this is x plus four which is seven plus four. And sure, 11 times 7 gives us squared. And that is just like it. We have solved, we have formed an equation. We have solved it using quadratic method and required the direct to fix. So, once again, we have talked about uh, draw a diagram, possibly where we are relevant. Let x stand for what you are, you are finding. Form a quadratic equation in x and simplify it. Solve the equation using a, your favorable method. Check if the answers make sense. Of course, in our case, negative 11 was not making sense. So the only practical answer or value of x is 7 centimeters. And that's what brings us to this particular point. All right.